You know, your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. Have you been overwatering it? Deride me if you want, but I'm merely attempting to care for this living being you've been so callously neglecting. If I can continue without the insults... It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. Okay. Still, I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully we can find Tomcat inside and some answers. Welcome to Stardust. All right, looks good to me. Welcome to Stardust. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? The driving bass has some interesting mathematical interactions with the chorus, and the tempo is certainly geared towards exciting the human circulatory system. I could learn to like it, but I agree. The volume is stressing my audio receptors. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Good idea. Perhaps one of the patrons knows of this Tomcat. Yes, can I help you? Not at the moment. They're usually close enough to hear when their name gets dropped. So if that's all you needed from me, I'll get back to cutie cruising. And no, that wasn't an invitation to flirt. Me either. I don't do genotypical. And I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. Sorry, did you say genotypical? Yeah, as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. is your problem. You want to spew that shit? Join the protests outside Genus. I'm sure those ass butts will love you. Now get lost. Want to keep pushing me? You'll regret it fast. Don't make me have Majid throw you out of here. Piss off! <sighs> Are you sure you're a journalist?
Morning, friend. What can I do for you? What are you having? So many drinks these days. Remind me, what's in there? Drinkionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Does that sound good? Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Now, what is it you need to know? I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Enjoy yourself, and don't be a stranger. share flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? Nah, you're fine. Jess is just a nice prickly pear on the outside. She'd probably give hell to most strange folks she hasn't made a deal with. <laughs> so, to what do I owe the pleasure? Sour my night. I already saw you got as little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Do you know about me? Aiden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but... Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Oh, don't you worry about Jess, no. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal with an awful lot of pricks. Cause, uh, well... No, that ain't why, come on! Did you even look at her? You know how most folks are about hybrids. 
You don't seem to be too well versed in hybrid issues. Nah, I'd leave her alone if I were you. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places. Well, she does owe me a favor, or three. But I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? <laughs> Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. I think he just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward. behavior well let's see uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation but if parallax found out about it somehow ooh, that might have changed things it ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence <laughs> I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him, but... He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm not real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. Best to get all the clues we can find. The data cache would be the best place to start. Good luck! Turin, you, you keep out of trouble. Citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of an ongoing investigation. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. That will not be possible, Citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter. I am required by law to inform you that I am set at level 2 guard mode, and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigation. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge, who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving. Oh, drat, 
I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? I don't think it's wise to rely on them. Even if there's already an open case, we still can't disregard the possibility of someone putting pressure on the authorities to cover things up. Plus, the statistics I'm reading from the MeshNet show a disastrously low success rate for missing persons cases handled by the NEO SFPD. We need things quiet, honest, and efficient. You and I can do that best. Maybe they will get lucky and find Hayden, but we should continue investigations on our own. We'll just have to make sure we don't draw extra attention to Hayden's predicament. Now that I think about it, can you imagine how the police would react to a report being made by the world's first sapient robot? I really don't feel like being confiscated as evidence today. I feel better already. <laughs> would that be? I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. <laughs> Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? I... I don't even have any teeth. <clears throat> I mean, done and done. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Now lead the way. Welcome to the Neo San Francisco Richmond District Police Station, citizen. How may I be of assistance today? I believe you are mistaken, citizen. Perhaps you encountered another Parallax ED64 law enforcement ROM. Limited experience, I have found that ROMs, much like humans, do not appreciate it when they are told they remind you of someone else. Please give me a few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment, but she has given me her authorization to send you her way. 
You can find her by the carousel building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. She is working in investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Is there anything else I can help you with? I am not authorized to comment on any ongoing investigations, but the protests outside Genus are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you could look around there. Feel free to note the assistance of the Neo San Francisco Police Department in your article. Is there anything else I can help you with? Have a good day, citizen. Long time. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? It's up to me and the entire crack detective unit of the Neo SFPD to protect the city from the horrors of the spectral robot threat. Just hold your horses and let me get this done before you start twisting my arm about whatever it is you need. I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. I guess it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. If I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Uh, hold on one sec, let me steal a break from this guy. So, fill me in. What's going on? Oh, shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Unfortunately, Detective, things are precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal ROM and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. All right then, I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. Yes, Aiden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and 
I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? Hmm. I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside it actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. No way, not gonna happen. If there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. Look, I'm taking this seriously, and so should you. If Hayden is in real danger, you bumbling after whoever took him is just gonna get you killed. I don't need that kind of crap on my conscience. Damn it, you know that isn't what I meant. You don't even have proof there's dirty cops in on it, and I can't work off a hunch, not on an accusation that big. You think me feeding info to a journalist of all people isn't bad enough? All right, fine. I'll get you into the damned apartment. Just be careful, okay? I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. You do that. I'll radio ahead to the bot of the place. Let me know what you find out. Right, I'd better get out of here. Hey you, Froyo guy, come along to the station and we'll get this report filed. Who, me? But I've got to attend my stand. What the crap? It's not going anywhere and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Y yes ma'am. Later, I'll be in touch. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neo-SF Police Department as part of ongoing investigations. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. One moment, citizen, while I verify Detective Rivers' authorization. Authorization obtained. Good luck with your investigation, citizen. I caution you to restrict your observations to the visual, though, as there has not been an officer in to check the scene personally. What? Oh no, 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 our 
apartment, my home. Who could have done this? Why? What does the human revolution want with Hayden? Why would they break our things? I, I don't know what to do. This place, these items, they're all I have of Hayden. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if we can't find him? This was all I had left. You're... You're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst. Well, let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. this being human revolution propaganda, but Hayden is an unlikely target. I know they don't like Parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. is gone. We've searched everywhere, and it just isn't here. I hate to return to Tomcat empty-handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. I wonder what the human revolution would need the data cache for anyway. That's a distinct possibility. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. The information on the MeshNet is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigots stuck in the past. Perhaps we could... Hey! What's wrong? Right, right, right. 